In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify duplicate values in Google Sheets. So here I have these students with their student ID and what I want to do is identify duplicates. I want to make sure that there is no student in this list twice and so I want to identify those. So the easiest way to do that is just to use the count if function to count the number of times either the name or the student ID appears within the range. So I'm just going to use the count if function on the student ID. So I'm going to add a new column count. And then what I'll do is I will just copy the formatting and I'll make sure this is centered. And now what I want to do is the count if function. So I'm going to do equals count if I'm going to press tab on my keyboard. So the first argument of the function is the range. So the range that I want to count in is the student ID range. So I'm going to select that. Then I'm going to do a comma and my criterion is just going to be this first cell with the student ID. So then I'm going to close out this formula, press enter on my keyboard, and then I can copy and paste this all the way down. And that will return the count of the number of times the student ID appears in this range. So we can see that some values appear more than once. So if there's a one here, that means each of these values is unique. If there's a two, it appears twice in this range. And if it's three, then it appears three times in this range. So this is how you can quickly identify duplicate values. Now you can also sort by this column we've created if you wanna pull all the duplicate values to the top. So what I'm going to do now is sort this. So I'm going to highlight this entire range. I'm going to go into the top and select data, sort range, and I want advanced range sorting options. So I want to select data has header row so that when I sort, I do not sort the header row. And I want to sort by count from Z to A so that all of the duplicates, which are the highest numbers, are on top. So I'm going to select sort. And now you can see these are all of the values that appeared in this range more than once. So those are the duplicate values. Okay, I'm gonna pause the lesson really quick and let you know about my free course. If you are a beginner at Excel or Google Sheets, I have a free course with the nine most fundamental lessons that you need to master. Click the link in the description of the video to get the course now. Now, another thing we can do is highlight duplicate values and we can do that using conditional formatting. For that, we do not need to create another column here for the count. So I'm gonna go back to my original data set. I'm going to select this column and I'm gonna go format, conditional formatting. And so what I wanna do is highlight the duplicate values in this range. So apply to range, I have the column selected that I want. And now what I wanna do is for format rules, we're gonna format cells if, and I'm gonna select custom formula is. So for this, we're also going to use the count if function. So I'm going to type equals count if, and then it is the range of B, and my criterion is B1. So I want to count this, and then we're going to do conditional formatting if the value is greater than 1. And for the color, I'm just going to choose this pink color and select done. And so now you can see all of the values that appeared more than once in this range are now highlighted this red color. So that is another good way to identify duplicate values. So that is two ways to identify duplicate values. Now, if you wanna remove the duplicate values, the easiest way to do that is to use the built-in option in Google Sheets for removing duplicates. So what I'm gonna do is select both of these columns and then I'm gonna go data, we're gonna do data cleanup, remove duplicates. My data does have a header row, so I'm gonna select that. And I wanna analyze all of these columns, both column A and B, and I'm gonna select remove duplicates. And now you can see that this quickly removed all of the duplicate values. So if you wanna identify duplicates, I've shown you two methods for doing that. But if you just wanna remove the duplicates, that is how you do that. So that is all for this video. As always, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm also going to place a link in the description of the video where you can subscribe to my email newsletter to get free updates and lessons sent straight to your email. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.